Hello, good afternoon and good morning to all of you who's watching. I'm Yuri, one of the missionaries, servants of the word here at St. Francis Cabrini Catholic Church. And today I will be presenting to you all the Bible courses and how to get closer to God and, and to have a better understanding of His word. Throughout these Bible courses, um, we'll be sharing or what God wants to say to us through His Word. And I will be um, giving you a, a few background. First, we have to keep in mind that the church exists to evangelize. If there's no evangelization, there's no church. Our Bible courses are in a complete of nine Bible courses in total. Our Bible courses was written in a book called Proposal of Christ, written by our founder, Luigi Botera, and it was divided in two volumes called Discovering the Treasures of Jesus Christ. It is divided in one volume and two. The first volume um, contains the first Bible courses. We're gonna start first um, with Psalm 139 in our Bibles, and we're going to start with the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Psalm 139, verse 1 to 8. Lord, you have sent me, and you know me. You know everything I do. From far away, you understand all my thoughts. You see me, whether I am working or resting. You know all my actions, even before I speak. You already know what I will say. You are all around me and every side. You protect me with all your power. Your knowledge of me is too deep. It is beyond my understanding. Where could I go to escape from you? Where could I get away from your presence? If I went up to heaven, you would be there. If I lay down in the world of death, you would be there. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Um, we give you thanks, God, for another day, for all your blessings that you give to us. We ask for all the need out there, for our families back at home, or wherever they are at, for all the need out there, for the youth, for the marriage um, people, or for the single people out there that doesn't know, that, that, that doesn't know about you were, you ask that you uh, may help them throughout their need. You ask this through Our Lady, the Virgin of Magnifica. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. So, today we're going to start with the introduction to the first Bible course. We will start from the first page of the Bible to the last page of the Bible. Um, it's an easy and accessible to anyone included to those who cannot read. Also, we need an open heart for us to be able to understand God's message throughout the Bible courses. The term Bible comes from the language Greek, which means books. It contains 73 books in total, but it's divided into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament which um, the Old Testament talks about from the, from the creation um, of the world to um, before Jesus was born. And the New Testament talks about to the death of Jesus to the death of the last apostle. The original books were written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. But today we have a translation, which has the same meaning as back then, but in a different translation. And an important point as a Catholic um, to know about our Bibles is to always have printed inside the ecclesiastical approval called imprimatur. Sometimes I might have it in, in the beginning of the Bible, in the first pages, or at the end of the Bibles, to us to um, know that it's a Catholic Bible and that it's approved by Rome, how uh, you can see right here. 
on this section. And another points that we're gonna go through uh, this course is how to read a chapter in a verse. As I was saying, the books in the Bible are divided into chapters and verses. As we can see in the first one, um, it's from the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. The second one is from the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, meaning that you're going to read from verse 26 to 28. The third one, from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, and verse 30, meaning that you're going to skip verse 29. You won't read verse 29. The fourth one, you're going to um, say, you're going to proclaim it um, as from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, and chapter 2 verse 7 because there's a semicolon so that meaning that you're just going to read that verse and you're going to go to the next chapter that is that is chapter 2 verse 7 and the last one from the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 31 to chapter 2 verse 4 meaning that you're going to read from chapter 1 verse 31 all the way to verse 4 of chapter 2. I invite you all to um, open your Bibles to the letter to the Hebrews in the New Testament, chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. The word of the Lord is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It cuts all the way through to where soul and spirit meet, to where joints and marrow come together. It judges the desire and thoughts of the heart. There is nothing that can be hide from God. Everything in all creation is exposed and is open before His eyes. And it is to Him that we must all give an account of ourselves. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As um, as I was reading verse 12, it grabbed my attention that it said, um, it cuts all the way through to where soul and spirit may, to where joints and marrow come together. For us for us to be able to cut um, all the bad things from us, we have to first let us, um, God cut all the bad things of us for in order for him to um, grow something new inside of us um, also um, in verse 13 it says there is nothing that can be hide from God everything in all creation is exposed and lays open before his eyes meaning that even if it's something small God will always know what's your intention in your heart even if people uh, doesn't believe you when you try to um, explain something, something that went on, and they try to bring something to you, God will know your intention. So that's the most important thing. Maybe people might um, not um, support you all the time, or try to um, put you like in bad position, um, or give bad testimony from you. But to always remember that God knows who you really are, from the outside and the inside. People might say that they know you from the outside, but who actually knows you from the inside is God and only Him. He's the only one that will be able to understand you, the way you are, the way you speak, the way you dress, and like the way you act, uh, and what stuff you like and what stuff you don't. Even though sometimes people might lie or talk and say, oh, that you're like this and this, but the only one that really knows you is God. To always keep in mind that he's always the one that will always understand you 100% all, all the time. He's going to be the only one to um, to hear you all the time too. And to um, love you the way you are and how he made you too. Also, um, 
I invite you to go to the next Bible text that is here. Um, it's going to be um, from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verse 23 to verse 25. Verse 23 to 25. For through the living and eternal word of God, you have been born again as the children of a parent who is immortal, not mortal. As the scripture says, all human beings are like grass and all their glory is like the wind, flowers, the grass, with thirst and the flowers fall. But the word of the Lord remains forever. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. As it says at the end, but the word of the Lord remains forever. Meaning that many times people come into our life and sometimes we question God, but why does that person only last in our lives for a certain time? To always keep in mind that only God is the one that will always remain with us in the good and the bad moments of our life, and in the rich and the poor. God will always remain with us, no matter what. If you made a mistake or your plans were as, were, weren't were as perfect I, as you thought they were going to be, or as people thought, but to always keep in mind, God it's going to always be there for you. And as I was saying, rich, rich and poor. Also, to always keep in mind that um, we are here to always grow, to always do something new. And to always keep trying to do something new every day. Each time that God gives us a chance to always um, try to take advantage of it. Because you never know when it's the last time that God is going to uh, allow us in this life. Also, I invite you all to go to the next text. Um, it's going to be from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter um, 49, verse 1. Isaiah 49, verse 1 to 2. From the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1 to 2. Listen to me, disdained nations, you people who live far away. Before I was born, the Lord chose me and appointed me to be his servant. He made my words as sharp as a sword. With his own hand, he protected me. He made me like his arrow, sharp and ready to use. Word of the Lord, thanks be to God. As we can see in this text, at the beginning it says, Before I was born, the Lord chose me and appointed me to be his servant. So it says, uh, as we can see here, God chose us then we were, before we were born. So there's no um, way that we can say that I don't have to serve God or that he didn't call me. But how we can read here in the text, he chose us before we were born. He never asked us if we wanted to say yes or no. He chose us because he knows that we will, we will be able to do what um, he asks us. And everything that he puts in our life is because he knows that we're gonna be um, we're gonna be able to move on. We're gonna be able to stand up if it's hard. Or if we don't understand at that moment, he knows that um, we're going to be able to um, speak up. And uh, another point is that he made my words as sharp as a sword. Um, our words are going to always be sharp and strong if we keep our pray in God. If we always ask for him to give us um, understanding of his word, to give us grace, he's going to always... Um, 
is going to always try to give understanding of his word to us. Also, another point is that um, that with his own hand, he's going to always try to protect us. But it also depends on us if we want to, if we want to open to him, if we want to open to his word, to his willing. And if we're always open to his willing, we're going to always be happy too. Because uh, if we do his will, we're going to always be happy and we're going to always have understanding of what's going on in our lives. And I invite you all to read um, one of the Bible texts for homework. And it's going to be um, from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 13 to 17. And before saying goodbye, I invite you all to do a small prayer, giving thanks to God for another day. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. We give you thanks, Father, for another day, for all your blessings you have given to us. We ask for the need out there, for the matrimonies, for you, for people who doesn't know what to do with their lives. Um, we also ask for the ones who haven't known your word yet. We ask you that... Um, they get to know your word um, through uh, your through the Bible courses, and we ask for all the need out there. We ask this through the intersection of Our Lady, the Virgin of Magnifica. Virgin of Magnifica, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next time in the second video. Have a good um, morning, good evening, and God bless you.